I think we heard every third she word said, you said. Can we yeah. talk about something yeah. else? Because we've been on this for 20 minutes straight. Did you hear that one, Michael? Boom! Watch him, watch him. Okay, here, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna shout out everyone on Twitch. Eric, can you pull up Twitch? <laughs> He's like, babe. Fuck. Jeremy, what's that? Babe. And then later. <laughs> I didn't even notice. I didn't really care. I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice. <laughs> Michael Sartain's gonna get a lawsuit, most likely. He thinks that he's protected by referring to me as the fat kid in Brazil. I'm in way better shape than, than he, him and Rolo. I have this as a main Tinder picture right now. It's fucking crushing it. But I'm in terrific shape. Clearly not fat. But they still all refer to me as the fat kid in Brazil. They're trying to get around. They think that protects them legally by not saying my name. And they're also huge pussies. But yeah, he's probably gonna get hit with a lawsuit. Yeah, him and Rolo say cold approach is trash. <laughs> yeah, he's he's charging guys to teach them cold approach because guys come to him to learn cold approach. What a fucking joke. I'm going to do a reaction to the clip where his fucking chick tools him. Let's actually watch that right now. We can react to it right now. It's only a short. It's fucking hilarious. You can see his true fucking pussy colors on display. Let me play this real quick. So the context here is he's on the whatever podcast with his girlfriend. And she basically fucking shits all over him and disrespects him hardcore on air on the li on the live podcast to his face. And the little nerdy chode uh, host, the fucking Brian guy that wears flannels and is always like, whoa, 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 whoa. he thinks he's like some kind of big intellectual or something like that. <laughs> he's he's like, Michael, are you gonna permit that? And Michael's just like. Watch his true colors on display, and, and it's very obvious who wears the pants in that relationship. It's not him. I told you guys, he's a huge pussy. I know guys that hang out with him in Vegas. I've known about him for over a decade, right? Because he was trying to teach cold approach like 10 years ago. And then he went into all this social circle scam nonsense. I know guys that hang around him. He's like a giant, giant pussy. He's like one of the biggest pussies in the manosphere behind his whole like tough guy act. Watch how she shits on him. And then they show a clip where he's on Fresh and Fit and Myron brings it up, how the girl shit on him. He's got fucking sunglasses, modern life dating next to him, consoling him. All these people are huge fucking cocksuckers. Let's watch this here. I think we heard every third she word said, you said. Can we yeah. talk about something yeah. else? Because we've been on this for 20 minutes straight. Did you hear that one, Michael? Boom. Watch him, watch him. Okay, here, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna shout out everyone on Twitch. Eric, can you pull up the Twitch? <laughs> He's like, babe. Fuck. <laughs> Jeremy, what's that? Thank you, man, appreciate it. Michael, me personally, I wouldn't take that level of Flannel boy wouldn't take mm -hmm. that. Oh, well. Oh, well. Did I miss oh, something? Was someone disrespecting Look at him, Captain? he's just like, shamed yeah, hardcore. Michael. He said it a lot, so yeah. I'm making sure he heard it. He's him. like, maybe if I smile, yeah, nobody will notice. I saw notice. your girl raise her voice at you and put you in your place in a whatever clip. Did you have a conversation with her after the show? What was the aftermath? Thousands are curious. Babe. So yeah, I, I messed response. up on that podcast. I was I was wrong. I lost my cool, and by doing that, I embarrassed. <laughs> Look at fucking sunglasses MLD. This motherfucker right here on the right is about to lose a fucking million dollar judgment to me in florida that he's been delaying the case for three years the trial will be in six months most likely and i'm about to win in japan too because i sued him in japan where he lives clearly a piece of shit he smashed a bottle over a girl's face we brought it up in his deposition he's like oh uh, that's supposed to be uh, sealed i can't talk about that happened okay smashed a bottle literally over a girl's face and scarred her face settled out of court to avoid you know going to jail and also Leaked texts came from conversations with him from Mac the Day Gamer, who also is suing him for defamation and for assault. Uh, that's not a lawsuit, I mean, that's a criminal charge accusation that got levied on Modern Life Dating in Japan. But Mac the Day Gamer released texts that said, or Modern Life Dating said, he looks forward to the days of girls being raped in the streets while he's sipping a latte. Here, let's watch this clip one more time. Watch how many times Michael Sartain blinks. He looks like he's gonna shit his pants. Zero frame, the girl's obviously a huge fucking punk ass bitch. And he's a little fucking pussy whipped little cunt. Which is, this is so beautiful to see because these red pill guys are like, we're the ultimate men. We don't put up with anything. Our girls can't look at guys. Our girls can't like use their phones away from us. And look at how his girl fucking shits all over him on air. Okay, Liz would never do that in a million years. Look at how she fucking doesn't respect him in the slightest. And he just goes through like this little blink attack. <laughs> and then he's like mouthing the word like, babe, like, babe, what are you doing? Babe. And then probably like cried off camera. And then he's like, make sure that you make this right. And then she like says this prepared speech and I'm ready to watch. I think we heard every third she word said, you said. Can we yeah. talk about something yeah. else? Cause we've been on this for 20 minutes straight. Did you hear that one, Michael? 
Okay, here, we're going to do, uh, we're going to shout out everyone on Twitch. Eric, can you pull up the Twitch? True Colors! Jeremy, we'll Babe, what are you second. doing? I appreciate it. Michael, me personally, Okay, put on the smile. Level, uh, pretend like you're unaffected. Me? Oh, well. Oh, well. Did I miss oh, something? Well. Was someone disrespecting Captain... Happy. Oh well, he Michael. He said it a lot, so yeah. I'm making sure he heard him. Oh well. Yeah, like, Michael, I saw your girl raise her voice at you and put you in your place. You know, whatever. Notice how it's all this big joke, like, oh yeah, like that's so funny. No, dude, you got fucking disrespected and owned. The chick has too much plastic surgery, and her voice sounds like a dude. Cliff, did you have a conversation with her after the show? What was the aftermath? Thousands are curious. Babe. So yeah, I I messed up on that podcast. I was I was wrong. I lost my cool, and by doing that, I embarrassed my boyfriend and yeah we i apologized to him and luckily you know like he forgave me we had to talk about it and you know we're good now he cried on my shoulder and uh you know forgave me because he's a giant pussy to be honest i didn't even think about it and then people started bringing it up to be honest i didn't even realize it happened i didn't even remember it until uh people started mentioning it yeah, and then like she was beating herself up yeah. so much about it but i didn't really care i didn't even notice i didn't care i didn't notice sure you didn't that's why he was like Then later, <laughs> I didn't even notice. I didn't really care. I didn't even notice. Sure, Michael. Michael. I hate it when people go by their full fucking name. Any other Michael would be go would be going by Mike since he's a cocksucker pussy who's about to get fucking buried in court since he can't stop running his fucking mouth and defaming me. Has to go by Michael. <laughs> Michael and George, I can help pack your schedule full of dates this week. Get on a free dating strategy call with the link in the description, info card, or pinned comment to discuss the details. I joined the eight-week mentorship program with the goals of improving my retention rate and close rate, as well as increasing my overall quality with women. John got my close rate uh, drastically better. I'm at at least 80% now for close rate, which is much better than what I was doing before. Uh, my retention rate is way better. I basically don't really lose girls anymore that I want to keep around. Um, and my quality improved a lot. I got the hottest girl I uh, ever landed since I started uh, John's program. Before I started the program, I basically never did night game and didn't even feel comfortable being in a club or busy bar. And now I got my first night game full and I feel much more confident and at ease with night game and cold approach in general thanks to john and i can't recommend the program enough that was crazy when she talked back it, it wasn't a surprise to me at all someone showed me that clip and i'm like yeah i know he's a pussy already i know he has no balls already i know he's a huge fucking queer in embarrassment already oh wow look there's an example of it there was already tons of examples before that who cares and now we see his girl's just a punk ass bitch who fucking wears the pants and talks down to him on public lives, public podcasts. And he just sits there. Babe, babe, babe. And then later, I didn't even notice. <laughs> He's got to maintain this, this cool exterior. I remember I saw that stupid fuck, Sartain, in a Chipotle. I was with like four of my boys in, in 2013 in Vegas, right? Because he lives in Vegas. And he comes in in Chipotle and, I, and I'm like making fun of him. I'm like, I'm like guys, look at this fucking idiot. And, and he's like, and he, he looked like he was going to fucking shit his pants or cry. I was like, what a fucking giant pussy that guy is. And then fast forward 10 years later and his chick's fucking dissing him. And he just sits there and takes it. He didn't even stand up for himself. He was just like. And then he's like. <laughs> Let's watch that one more time, actually. This is what not to fucking do. Keep in mind, his defense afterwards is he didn't notice. Keep that in mind. Let's watch the clip because his little like cover up happened after the fact. Let's see if this looks like a guy who didn't notice he's being openly respect disrespected on a podcast. Let's see if, if that explanation fits whatsoever. Okay, because it clearly does not. Is this someone that didn't notice they're being disrespected? I, I think we heard every third she word said, you said. Can we yeah. talk about something yeah. else? Because we've been on this for 20 minutes straight. Did you hear that one, Michael? Okay, here, we're going to do, uh, we're going to shout out everyone on Twitch. Eric, can you pull up the Twitch? Watch the babe thing. Jeremy, we'll get to that in a sec. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Michael, me personally, I wouldn't take that. Babe, I'm supposed to be the cool guy. Look at this chick. People think she's hot just because she puts cleavage out. Her face is busted. Look at that angle. Looks like shit. Without makeup, that's probably a five or six. Okay, there's too much fucking work done. Her personality obviously is dog shit. Just from that little clip, you don't even need to interact with her in any other sense. 
for a chick to talk to the dude like that means she has zero respect for him. Let's watch it one more time. Zero respect. And then watch him be like, babe, babe, what are you doing? And then he gets fucking like, <laughs> I'm not going to say amogged. It's a dumb term. But he gets called out by the show's host. And the show's host is a giant pussy too. Mr. Brian Flannel. Okay. And he's like, Michael, uh, what, are you, what are you doing here? Uh, are you going to let her do that? And he's like, oh, well. <laughs> he's like, what would the cool guy do? Uh, not care. Oh, well. And then he's called out about it later on Fresh and Fit. And he's like, well, I didn't even notice, uh, to be honest. Uh, it only came to my attention once people started bringing it. It's like, you noticed. And she does that times 10, I'm sure, behind closed doors. I think we heard every third she word said, you said. Can we yeah. talk about something yeah. else? Because we've been on this for 20 minutes straight. Did you hear that one, Michael? Pussy time. Okay, here, we're going to do, uh, like, we're going to shout out tough. everyone on Twitch. Eric, can you pull be up tough. on Twitch? Be. Jeremy, we'll get to that in a sec. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Michael, me personally, I wouldn't. Now it's time to smile and act completely unaffected when he has, the chick almost looks like <laughs> getting Michael Jackson vibes from his girl here. Oh, well. Oh, that doesn't even make any sense, right? He gets disrespected live on air, and he's like, "Okay, be unreactive, be unreactive, be unreactive." Uh, I don't care. And if you ask me later, I'm not, I'm not, I don't even remember or notice. I had selective amnesia. Oh well. Did I miss something? Was someone disrespecting Captain Cappy? We're good. Is someone disrespecting the captain? What the captain of fucking Pussyland? He Michael just said it a lot, so wow. I'm making sure he heard him. It was a joke. Yeah, like... Michael, I saw your girl raise her voice at you and put you in your place. You know, whatever clip, did you have a conversation with her after the show? What was the after? Everyone's happy and laughing. Thousands are curious. So yeah, I I messed up on that podcast. I was I was wrong. I lost my cool, and by doing that, I embarrassed my boyfriend. And yeah, we I apologized to him, and luckily, you know, like he forgave me. We had to talk about it, and you know, we're good now. I'll be honest, I didn't even think about it, and then people started bringing it up, and then like she was speeding herself up yeah. so much about it. So I didn't really care. I didn't. Notice. <laughs> he didn't notice hey thanks guys for uh bringing that to my attention I, I was unaware that that even happened i can pack your schedule full of dates starting this week so that you have a whole ton of options and you're regularly getting hookups and have a good place to choose from to make a girlfriend or build a rotation okay just book one of those free strategy calls with the link in the description or pinned comment to find out more prior to diving into john anthony's material i had a lack of self-esteem and uh his approach is very analytical as opposed to a lot of the scams out there. Um, the biggest benefit I've seen is in my self-confidence because that apply obviously in, in dating, but uh, in literally everything in life, uh, even business and finances. So that's why it's John Anthony lifestyle, not just uh, John Anthony dating. Let me know what you think in the comments if guys should be able to cheat or not and why. Like the video if you found value and please subscribe to never miss a video. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys on a video soon. Take care. Just take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models and you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor, I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon.